Hello and welcome back to the hottest cult on YouTube. Seriously, check these thighs. Tell me you're not a little aroused. And welcome back to my voice in full force. This is the channel where we give away real running motorcycles, talk about how smooth our man parts are, and we continue our search for truth in the great promised land of Rossi. Can I say cult on here? Did I just flag myself with the powers that be or did I just demonetize myself again? I'm probably fine as long as I'm not serving any Kool-Aid, right? That seems a little sketchy, but we're gonna go with it. If you're old news around here, welcome back and congratulations to our latest motorcycle giveaway winner. John Bernath is going home with a 2017 FCO7 full of goodies like a full Leo Vinci system, a bizarre fuel controller, and so much more. If you're curious how you can enter to win our beloved faithful new steed, a Zero Miles brand new KTM RC390, check the link in the description below and get started. One of the coolest parts about signing up for our giveaway series is getting access to our Discord server, which is kind of like a chat room where you can hit up all sorts of different channels, which includes everything from helping to pick your first bike to posting up abused Craigslist listings. For existing patrons and faithful followers, hit up the comments below and tell the world how fun that is. And also, I'm on there more often than not, so if you're trying to hang out with your sweet yam, that's the best way to do it. If you're new around here, what the heck took you so long? Smash subscribe, do it now. If you ride a cruiser or a touring bike, you probably have all the latest tech gadgets you could dream of, or at the very least, that you think you'd do. For those of you zipping around on lighter machinery though, the standard production tech can leave a lot to be desired, which is what we're going to be talking about today. Because while there are a lot of bougie tech gadgets out there that you don't really need, here are a few that will really make a difference in your life. Because your Papa Yam loves you enough to want you to be the very best. That's right, only the very best for my fine baby yams. I wanna be the very best. You're welcome. Up first, we are sending out a shockwave of surprise that is gonna send tremors across the globe, a communication system. Also, that was sarcasm. I've talked about communicator systems in other videos, and I have tried out several different ones over the years. Nothing's gonna come close to the Pack Talk Bold from the good old reliable Cardo. And if you don't believe me, Fort9 thinks the same thing too. Now, before anyone gets in an uproar, yes, I do have a relationship with the good folks over at Cardo. No, I'm not recommending them because I have to or because they pay me to. I will recommend them based on quality and performance though. And when it comes to that, second place is miles behind the competition. I'm not even sure if they're on the same track ever being honest. There's six different models you can choose from and they start at 99 bucks. It's a solid communicator with an excellent sound quality. If you do have any group rides, it's going to be a complete game changer. Things like the JBL audio system is really going to help you out. If you can swing it, I highly recommend going with the Pack Talk Bold though. It works with any type of helmet. It's got voice recognition technology, so you never even have to touch a button. It's got a whole slew of other great features too. If you've never ridden with a communicator system, you might not immediately see the benefits to it. However, there's nothing like being able to ride and listen to music, take important calls if need be, and chat with your friends while you're riding. You might think it's going to add the distraction factor, but honestly, it feels very natural to have one. It can also save your life if you have an important message that's coming in from your friend that a hand gesture just can't get across. It's basically the Cadillac of the communicator system world, and I am all about it. Better yet, it's the triumph of the communicator system world, and we all know how I feel about triumph. I'm still waiting on that endorsement deal, guys. Still waiting. You already know how many Daytonas and street triples I have single-handedly sold for you. Let's talk. Imagine the good I could do in the world with the brand spanking new Daytona 765. And hell, even if you don't give me a press bike, I'm putting a deposit down as soon as you let me so the joke's on you. The second piece of tech you should add to your rig is a cell phone mount. Just like with any product, there are a lot of brands and manufacturers that put out cell phone mounts. There's a lot of affordable options over on Amazon, but I'm going to warn you against going too cheap on this one. Think about how much you paid for your phone and what it would cost to replace it. Enough said. Ram makes some pretty great mounts and I was just poking around on the old Amazon and I found this one pretty quickly. It's a universal holder for about 30 bucks. It's going to work on most handlebar system and holds most phones. If you think you fall into a weird niche sizing, they've got dimensions, etc. listed for you, which I always appreciate. The reviews look pretty solid, and even though there's a plastic option, I'd probably go ahead and just pony up the extra $10 and get the metal version. The idea is to make sure you have something sturdy that isn't going to drop your phone or start wiggling around on your handlebars once you start riding. It's kind of going to defeat the purpose. You should definitely not use a cell phone mount for things like texting, watching YouTube videos while riding, or trying to catch up on Game of Thrones. While I definitely support doing all those things in the comfort and safety of your own home except for watching Game of Thrones, that's a garbage show, they are terrible ideas while riding on a motorcycle. For your safety and the safety of those around you, remember to stay focused while you're riding, eliminate as many distractions as possible, and if after all that concentrating you still have got some brain juice left, 
go ahead and use it to enjoy the ride. Have some fun. Live a little. So even though you shouldn't rock a cell phone mount to make texting or distracted riding a thing, they are pretty dang handy to giving access to GPS. It's one of those things you lose when you shift from a car to a motorcycle, and having easy access to any kind of navigation system is always a plus. A cell phone mount's going to also free you from the worry of having your bulky computer pocket sliding right out of your pocket and onto the highway during a ride. That's not going to be fun. Both are pretty win-win situations, and this isn't an expensive addition to have a solid peace of mind. I actually rode for the first time with an X-Mount in Israel, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I typically have received my GPS instructions through my helmet's communicator system and just kept an eye out on the road for the next street I needed to turn on and didn't see the map, but if you live in an area that doesn't have great cell signal or you're not familiar with, it's going to be invaluable. And again, it gives you peace of mind. Now, speaking of peace of mind, the next two items we're going to talk about are all about peace of mind. Let's start with a GoPro. Even if you're not a YouTuber, a vlogger, etc., whatever you want to call the weird thing that I do on the internet, it's still really beneficial to have a GoPro mounted while you're riding. We've all seen the terrifying videos of those asshats who intentionally open a car door as a motorcycle is passing them, or someone who swerves across lanes and wipes out one of our two-wheeled riding brethren on their trusty steeds. In cases like that, it's really helpful to have a recording of the incident to turn over to law enforcement and insurance companies. It could save you a ton of money and completely negates the whole my word against theirs as a tactic that they try to use in court. If you get a GoPro, mount her up, have some peace of mind. It's a solid plan. They're also nice if you're working on a particular skill while riding, much like they do in sports. You can also go back and review the tape. I like to use them a lot when I'm on track days, for example. It's pretty cool, right? Right now, there's four different models on the market to choose from, and they start around $200. Looks like GoPro's offering $50 off their most recent model, the Hero 7 Black, so it's worth taking a look at. They got their spring sale going on. I personally ride the GoPro Hero 4 Silver that I've had since 2015, which, wow, in writing that, I should really pony up a bit of cash and upgrade. It's not like I make my living on here or anything. Well, maybe we can also swing a GoPro sponsorship, one can only hope. Another cool thing you can do is if you have a bike that has a USB outlet or a 12 volt connection, you can mount up an actual dash cam or use the GoPro as a dash cam to get great fidelity and video quality. Dash cams, as previously mentioned, are incredibly important. If you don't like having a bulky weight on your helmet when you ride, which I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't love having my GoPro on my helmet at all times, then this might be a good option for you. Now, the final piece of equipment I want to talk about today is an anti-theft system. Now, I gotta plug the guys over at Revzilla on this one. They make some of the absolute best anti-theft system. My personal favorite is the Abus Granite Detecto X Plus 8077 Alarm Disc Lock. My god, that is a mouthful. Here's the thing. Your motorcycle isn't like a car. It's exposed. It's like locking your car doors with the window down and hoping no one walks by. It's a little terrifying when you think about it. Thankfully, there are some great anti-theft systems out there. This one just happens to be my favorite at the moment. This thing is a brick. No one is cutting through this baby. Don't be fooled by its simple looks. This thing has some crazy high-tech 3D alarm system technologies in it, and an alarm so loud that the dogs three towns over are going to hear it. It does have a pretty hefty price tag of $180, but compared to losing your bike, that doesn't seem too bad at all. Especially since you can use it for the rest of your life. Do the math and divide that out. That sucker's gonna end up costing you less than the dual tone master lock you just had to have in your locker in the seventh grade. And to be honest, a thief who wants your bike is gonna take your bike, so in my opinion, and this isn't a piece of tech, you should have ample insurance coverage for theft. I've heard way too many sob story about bikes that got stolen because someone skimped out on the extra $15 per month they would have taken to get their bike covered for theft, and now they're out of a bike and out of luck. Don't let that be you. Most insurance companies are going to give you a discount too if you have an anti-theft device as well. And if you're not convinced about an anti-theft system, consider this. Two hefty boosted boys could easily come and pick up your motorcycle, lift it into a van, and walk off with it. Don't risk it, boys. Now, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks for stopping by and showing some love to the old yam. I surely do appreciate it, and I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in this week when my voice is back to its silky, caramel-like quality. Except for you, Jim. Except for you. Don't come back here anymore. I swear to God, if I see you around these parts again, you're going to have hell to pay. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. We actually recently hit our goal of 500 patrons on our Patreon, which means we're going to be giving away two motorcycles for the next beginner bike giveaway series. Now, what's our next goal going to be? Rumor has it it's going to be a triple bike giveaway at 900 patrons, and that's something to look forward to. There's still plenty of time to put your name in the hat to win our current giveaway bike, the 2017 KTM RC390. Just want to make it abundantly clear you can enter for free, so be sure to check that out in the description box below and find out how you can get entered to win. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Fact. While there are instances of homosexuality in nearly all animal species, sheep are the only animals besides humans that show a same-sex preference for life. In flocks of domestic sheep, up to 8% of the males prefer other males even when they're fertile females around. In many other animal species, males will pair up with males and females with females under certain circumstances, but with a sheep, it's a lifelong propensity. Love is love, my dudes. Goodbye.